back with another video. Um, probably pick the worst time to um, intro this as the kettle is boiling. Boiling. Um, I'm working today, but I'm working from home. I don't actually feel very well, so I had a really bad night's sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night and couldn't get back to sleep and wasn't very well. Um, but I'm fine. We're still doing life. Um, so I thought I would bring you along with what I'm doing. As you can see, I've got the trusty slow cooker back out and boiling some other water in the saucepan for some breakfast. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd just show you what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to make a coffee because it's actually quite late now. It's nearly, it's basically near lunch. I haven't even had a coffee yet. So here we go. To make the world a better place, I'm going to use my favourite left print mug. Thoroughly discarding the Nespresso machine today and drinking my favourite guilty pleasure of instant coffee. But this, the, it's got to be the ground one, this one. I love it. I just love it. And you can't tell me otherwise. Two of those and a sugar, because why not? We're going a bit wild today. Chucky biscuit as well. So yeah, it's in the slow cooker. I'm gonna put the slow cooker on now so it can um, go in for eight hours. I actually put some chicken legs. So I thought they'd be quite nice in the slow cooker. Kind of a similar recipe to what I put on my Instagram and my TikTok the other day, but um, I'll sort of explain to you what I'm doing. It's not gonna be that uh, strenuous anyway. Oh, oh. Right, let's get into it. I'm back on the um, oat milk life. Thought I'd change it up. Loving a bit of oat milk at the moment. If I can open it, a little bit of oats. I feel like this one's really good. It's like just looks like normal milk in your tea, in your coffee. Sorry. I feel like sometimes they like they used to split. Maybe this is like back in the day when it first came out, but I feel like they used to go a bit funky. You have got to whisk the coffee and the milk up and the sugar. This is the key to making a good instant coffee. Perfect. In with the boiling water. And then you're done. You're done. You're done and dilly done. So, let me show you what we're going to do for the slow cooker recipe today. I'm just going to get the stuff out. So, I've had a bit of change of plan. While I'm chopping the onions, I'm just going to. Uh, tell you what I'm going to do. So I was going to do like a tomato based sauce uh, sort of thing. You could do it with rice, you could literally do it with uh, pasta, potatoes, whatever you fancy. I put that recipe up the other day but I did it with chicken fries. But whilst I'm here, I thought actually, do you know what I fancy? I'm going to make it curry. I'm going to do a bit of a chicken curry. So what I'm going to do is I'll make obviously the base curry flavours see what I've got, just see what I've got knocking about. Um, I have got a tin of coconut milk, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today. I think I'm just gonna do tin tomatoes and then add in some actual natural yogurt, like um, dairy natural yogurt. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is cook the chicken legs in the sauce for eight hours on low, or you could probably do it for about five or six hours on high. And then what I'll do is I'll take out the chicken legs from the slow cooker, strip all the meat off, take obviously all the bones out, take all the meat off and then add the meat back into the sauce. Um, and it's really nice and yeah, just a bit different to having like chicken breast all the time. I saw them in M&S because I've seen people do it online and they were literally like one pound twenty. they were so cheap. So I was like, show you what, I'll give it a go and I'll see what they're like. And my boyfriend actually really prefers the brown meat. So what a cheap date. So yeah, just chopping my onions up. I quite like uh, slices uh, when I'm adding them in the slow cooker, just so everything doesn't kind of go too much to mush. I've got my favourite frozen garlic cubes, so I don't need to chop that up. And then I'll literally just see whatever I've got in the fridge. I don't really haven't, haven't really got much fresh stuff in the fridge to be honest at the moment. Um, so that's probably all that we're going to have to add to chop in. I might add some spinach in nearer the time when it's cooked. So, onions are obviously in. 
gonna go in with the um, chicken legs now. No, she's not having it. She's not fucking having it. Right, anyway. I need to put Sarah's dippy eggs in in a minute. Right. That's all right, I have one second. Ching, ching, ching. I'm gonna go in with the chicken leggies. Oh, a bit bloody, I'm gonna wash that. Can you put a timer on in a minute? Four. Ten. Yeah. Now for the sauce. Got a chicken stock cube I'm gonna crumble in. I wish I could set you up better for this. Um, we're just gonna go really basic. I have got lentils that I could put in, I've got loads of beans that I could put in, but we're just gonna go basic bean today. Oh, can't be arsed. Um, tomatoes everywhere. Um, so yeah, splash of boiling water like that. But yes, yeah, so you don't want it to be too liquidy because you want it to be a bit of a thicker sauce and it will render out its own liquid anyway. I'm um, gonna go in with the spices. Going in with uh, two teaspoons, three teaspoons of medium curry powder. Yeah, that looks all right. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of chili powder. I don't want it to be too hot. Spoon of turmeric. A bit of ground cinnamon, probably about half a teaspoon. Not too precise, guys. We could just go with the flow, to be honest. Uh, teaspoon, quite a big teaspoon that was. Chucked basically half in of ground coriander. Got some cumin seeds. Chucked some of those in. Got some ground cumin. We'll put a teaspoon of that in. But Dry ginger, so we'll put a teaspoon of that in. It's all about the flavours, guys. We've got a bit of paprika, so I'm going to shove a bit of that in as well. Obviously, we'll do salt and pepper as well. And then down here, I've got these that are great. Whenever I go into the supermarket, I just try and pick up any ones that I don't have. Here, we've got garlic powder, so obviously, we have got fresh garlic in, but I'll add teaspoon of garlic powder teaspoon of gram gram of sorrela. so nice little spice on here as you can see and it will all that will all go in to the pot so if we just add that in and obviously you know when you come out later to shred the chicken up um obviously try it see what it's tasting like if you think it needs anything else add it in etc but i think that will be okay so guys and girls what you can see i've done is taken the chicken out and shredded it and then put the bones in there because obviously you don't want any bones um, and what i'm going to do is then just add it into the sauce and i think now i'm going to add in a little bit of butter and some yogurt as well how nice does that look really nice rich creamy sauce like i actually think that looks so nice and so Good morning guys. Looking a bit like um, a baby chick with the fluffy hair. But I've got the day off work today. It's Friday and I'm not working. What a time to be alive. Um, thought I'd bring you on a day with me. I'm gonna do some running, some leg day, some cooking. That was awful English. But I thought I'd just bring you along for the journey. I'm just making a coffee. I cleaned this flat up. Wednesday night all of it and it currently is resembling a teenager's bedroom so I need to do a bit of cleaning do a bit of tidying um and yeah we'll be right back I'm just making a coffee it's the day start I meant to be running as well today I was aiming for a 5k it's quite far for me never done that before but the weather's looking absolutely shocking. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see what's happening. I'm gonna do some running. 
I just need to, I can't really quite concentrate when I haven't had a coffee and I also haven't got my glasses on. It kind of makes me feel very, not spatially aware. I can't quite comprehend what's going on. So I'm gonna get my glasses, gonna make my coffee and then I'll, and I'll be right back with you. I'm back from the gym, um, which I should have inserted the clips beforehand um, of the sort of glutes day I did. It wasn't really a staple glutes session that I would normally do. It's kind of a little bonus one that I, I always do four sessions, four upper body, two, uh, two upper body, two lower body. However, if I have got extra time or feel like going to the gym an extra day that uh, this week, I will do a sort of more targeted glute session. Um, so I just kind of stuck that one in today. Um, I am in a little bit of a rush, which is my pet peeve in life. Um, so I was gonna take you through what I'm doing to get ready, but I'm not gonna. Luckily, my I have had a wash on my hair is washed, which I just did down the gym, but I just, in about 45 minutes, need to put some makeup on and sort my hair out, so. Yeah, in a bit of a rush. Um, but yeah, I probably won't film anything more from today as I'm going out. Um, so yeah, I won't I won't be filming. But I am going to London tomorrow. I don't know if I have to do a separate vlog or add it into this one. But I did film some stuff the other day. But I don't know. I don't really think I filmed enough to make a whole video. I'm not too sure. We'll see me in London because there's definitely not going to be enough to make um, a video of it. So I'll either see you tomorrow or see you in the next video. Your guess is as good as mine. Through one six. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. <laughs> Selfridges. I didn't even really like intro it or anything. Um, but I should show you the lunch, which was lovely. That was the Alto by San Carlo. But it was, I mean, I don't know why I'm shocked because it was a Saturday, but it was absolutely rammed in Selfridges. Like, there was just no point. Like, I was just not getting the camera. Like, it was just people everywhere and everything I was looking at there was just loads of people so I was just like do you know what 
It's not the dye, it's the dye, it's not the dye. I didn't really end up picking up much, to be honest. I got this jumper from Adenola and the flared Lululemon leggings, um, which I'm really pleased with. Just trying to find a headband for the gym. Um, yeah, which I was really pleased with, actually. I did go in with the idea of if they had like this sort of stuff in my stock because normally I wanted to have it I looked at skims as well but like normally the Adenola bit the skims bit it all looks like it's been looted to be quite honest yeah it always looks like it's been absolutely looted and there's like nothing there so I was like if you know if the stuff's in my size I'll pick something up um I did have a look at a few bags just to get some inspo but i didn't obviously purchase anything otherwise i would be showing you um so yeah i'm off to the gym now um i'll show you the leggings when i got back i did actually come back and order a few things online uh, i was trying on some trainers and i was a bit undecided and then i went online and actually found a color i really liked so oh god so there will be some haul stuff coming up soon I'm going to the gym i'm not going to film it because i'm just going to put together all the clips i filmed over the last few days or like over the last week because i haven't really filmed enough on one day or consecutive days to make a one-off video um so yeah that's what i'm gonna do is put it all together and i'm doing a sort of a bit of a similar workout this is my third leg day of the week and it's more of a leg day rather than a glute bias day um so i'm not going to bring you along it's a sunday i might be busy um and yeah i'm going to go into a food shop so i will show you what i get in my healthy food shop what meals i've got planned for the week and yeah then maybe we'll end the video i'm not too sure we'll see what happens um but it is Sunday now, so I will end the, the video today. But I'll let you know what I get up to today. So, yeah, catch you in a bit. So, we're here with the food shop. Um, I don't buy that much meat. So, we've got the covered stuff here. So, we've got brown rice, hummel pasta, some chopped tomatoes, chickpeas, lentils, tuna, baked beans, um, some cream and some uh, parmesan. Um, and then I've just got some bread to put in the freezer. And here's like the majority of the veg section. Tomatoes, broccoli, uh, courgettes, some sweet potatoes, some normal jacket potato. Bread, uh, white onion, red onion, asparagus, two peppers. And then I just picked up some chicken sausages just for lunch or I don't know. I just thought for whenever. Some more oat milk, some apples, some spinach, some basil and some parsley. And then an avocado and a lemon and cotton buds and some fairy liquid. I am aware that kind of looks like the most basic bland food shop you've probably ever seen in your life. Um, I do try and bulk buy like fish and meat from Costco or like Marks and Spencers. And then I just put it in the freezer um, rather than like buying it from Tesco's. I find it one, more economical. And two, I prefer their meat and their fish, like Costco or M&S to Tesco or Aldi or somewhere like that. So normally like in the weeks, I just try and go and buy like fresh stuff um, or any cupboard stuff that I need. Um, so hence why I haven't bought any like chicken or anything because I've got it all in the freezer and I, and I don't need to buy it. Um, but the meal plan for this week is, so I'm gonna do, I've got loads and loads of sausages. This is not something I would not normally make. It's like something my mum would make, but I've got loads of sausages in the cupboard. And so I was like, I'll just make a sausage casserole in the slow cooker. Um, and I've got some new potatoes that I can chuck in with there. Um, so yeah, that'd be quite basic. I'll use one of the peppers and obviously some onions and stuff like that. Some of the tin tomatoes. Then one night we're gonna have haddock with sweet potato mash and veg. I've already got the haddock in the freezer as well. So it was just more getting the vegetables and the sweet potatoes for that. Um, third meal for the week. Um, I, I generally like to incorporate one or two vegetarian or like non-meat based meals. Sometimes we still have dairy. Like this one we've still got feta in. But sometimes they're totally plant based. Kind of just whatever. Um, and I'm going to do like um, a stir fry type thing with like brown rice. So I've got really itchy nose brown rice i'm gonna like um but then i'm gonna roast like the chickpeas um some vegetables like pepper onion courgettes and some feta in the air fryer and sort of like combine it 
Um, and the chickpeas can be like the substitute for like the meat. That will fill me up. I don't know if it will fill up my boyfriend. I'll probably have to buy him, get some chicken to go with it. Get some chicken out of the freezer to stick on his bit. But I like to do a bit of meat free days personally. Um, and then like, the fourth meal, uh, which is probably the most exciting, is a creamy chicken Tuscan pasta. So I just like to keep it up, like, a mix of some really quite clean things like the fish and the sweet potato and the brown rice really, stir fry. Um, a couple of like a slow cooker meal or some easy ones for when I actually go into the city. And then one that's a bit more fun like the creamy pasta or something like that, that's a bit more exciting um so yeah i just do a mix really and then for lunches where i work from home quite a bit normally i will have leftover food but some of these things like the haddock i won't have enough fish um to have over the next day so i would i've just got some jacket potatoes which i'll have with tuna and cheese or most of the time like with the rice and the the chicken tuscan pasta um there will be enough for the next day and i will just eat that and um, so yeah, that's that's how I sort of set up my meals. I find when you plan them out, it's so much more economical and also so much easier to stay healthy and just stay on track. You know what your your um you know your meal's gonna be, you can plan out your day a lot more. Like when I used to go to the shop and buy food every day, it's expensive because you just end up buying loads of stuff. You go to more like convenience shops that uh just charge like if you go to a petrol station it just charges more i'm sure it charges more than if you go to like normal tesco's or something um and yeah like you just aren't as well planned like i just like having the structure personally um yeah and supermarkets i tend to go to i went to tesco's today i go to they've got, got a really big mns as well which i like going to and then as i said i go to costco and obviously mns so they're the sort of three places that i go to um i got these the other day I don't know why I'm so excited about them. Like glass top I'm so excited about them. They're from Amazon. They're from the brand Igloo. But they're really nice. Actually, they're good pots. They're in three different sizes. This one's a little bit small. Not small, but like, you know. I wouldn't necessarily put my lunch in that. But then there's two sizes here that are quite good to take to work and like store things. I used to have, I've been trying to upgrade the Tupperware with more like glass based things because I feel like sometimes they like take on the scent and like they get a bit stained and they don't really like that and you know I feel like decent Tupperware is, is a must if you like cooking. Um, I've finished at the gym obviously and I went straight to the food shop so I think what I'm going to do now is make a sort of protein smoothie. I'll show you what I put into it. Um, so obviously I had my two eggs and the toast this morning and I've got chicken pie later. Chef's kiss, which is yummy. Um, so I will probably just have a protein smoothie now and see how I feel. If I get hungry then I'll have something else to eat, but if not I'll just, that will tide me over until, I mean we'll probably eat in like two and a half hours. So if I have a protein smoothie now that'll probably be fine. So I'll let you know what I put in after I've put all this food away in the fridge, in the fridge here's my shake before I get blending um, in the shake is a vanilla protein powder frozen raspberries, frozen spinach chia seed flax seed, hemp seed a teaspoon of peanut butter some almond milk and some water I think I might need some more water actually in there to put it on there uh, if I had some more fruit I would put it in but I don't, so we're just gonna zhuzh this up and see what it tastes like. Here we go, it's done. What I do is that I'm gonna put this little lid on so I can drink out of it. Mm. Nice, bit spinachy, but. Ah, oh. I meant to put great yogurt in it. No, mum, I would normally put great yogurt in it, but I forgot. <laughs> Thank you. 